So one of the most common things that needs to happen in editing is a copy and paste. But in this case, musically, it needs to be a copy and paste directly after itself. Let's take this clip for instance. This is a one measure percussive loop. I'd like to have another measure of exactly this happen right after itself. So that way it goes on for two measures or three, four measures and so on. So we're gonna select the entire clip from the beginning to the end of the measure. And now when we go to our edit menu, there's a feature called duplicate or command D. Now duplicate will literally copy and paste whatever you have selected directly after itself. And now we have that same loop for two measures. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the individual kick drum track. In this case, even though there's blank space between the audio clips and all the way to the end of the measure, I'm still gonna select the entire measure beginning to end to preserve all that blank space for timing purposes. Just remember that in music, the notes that are not being played are every bit as important than the notes that are being played. Once we duplicate our existing selection, I'm gonna hit Command D, this would be Control D on a PC. It copies and pastes everything, including that blank space that was selected, preserving all the timing between the notes. Now, while the duplicate function is very handy, sometimes you need to create more duplicates. In this case, you would have to hit the Command D or Edit Menu Duplicate function several times to have this duplicate for eight or 16 measures. So there's another function called Repeat. Under the Edit menu, right below Duplicate, you have Repeat, or Option R. This would be Alt-R on a PC. This is the same mentality as Duplicate, except that this asks you how many duplicates do you want of the current selection. If I want another 14 measures of this, I already have one selected, and I tell it that I want 13 more repetitions in addition to the one that's already there. Let's zoom out a bit. And there's all of those audio clips copied and pasted 13 more times, creating a total length of 16 measures within our session. I'm going to do the same exact thing to this percussion loop down here. I'm going to triple click on one of the clips to select all of them. So that way my selection is actually two measures. And I'm going to repeat that seven times. Looks like we got one too many. So let's go ahead and double click on that one to select it and go ahead and just delete it. So that way we get a perfect 16 measure duplication of our selection. The duplicate and repeat commands work the same way for MIDI information. I'm going to double click on one of my MIDI clips to select it. And now when I use my duplicate function, it duplicates everything that's selected. Same thing with repeat it will duplicate everything that's selected many times over as a repetition. Same thing in this case, we created one too many. So we're gonna go ahead and set our grid to whole bars real quick. So that way we can make sure that our cursor is exactly at a downbeat or a measure interval and just select these last couple of measures and delete them from playback. So that way our MIDI clips are just as long as our audio clips across 16 measures in this session.